Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles, and this is not a classic motorcycle video. In this video, we're going to follow through on this Chinese motorcycle lift. And some of you might find that boring, but when I first reviewed that Chinese lift with the original Handy, I got thousands of views on that video, and it's consistently one of my top watched videos but I've had some trouble with that lift now and we're gonna see if we can fix it and what the company might do. Inga loves the air compressor. Hey! Here's the problem. Turn this off. Now we go down. It's not going down. You gotta friggin' give it a push. So first off, this is a Tuxedo Distributors Motorcycle Lift. It's made in China. It's a copy of the Handy Lift, which are made in the USA. They sell these under several different names, I believe. I was having problems with this where it wouldn't go down. So, luckily they come with a one year warranty and I contacted the company on the last day of my warranty period. The first thing they need is they need the serial number. Now this is upside down, but if you see, it's it's rubbed out because it's not actually etched in, it's just printed on that metal. So if you get one new, write the serial number down right away because that just rubbed out from my foot hitting it. Well, what they told me was that the inside of this cylinder gets full of dirt and grease. Sometimes it looks like brown mud in there. And that's caused by crud coming in your air filter, uh, air compressor line. Now, as you can see, this one is nice and clean inside and that wasn't the problem. Now to get that out, you have to, well, flip it on its back, prop it up and hammer the pivot pin out through the plate there's supposed to be retaining clip wire clips that look like wrist pin clips but they weren't there they were missing and here I had a busted grease fitting from the factory uh, so I have to re-thread that and add a grease fitting there so I bang that through and then you can look in that cylinder and it's clean that wasn't the problem What's interesting about this is there's no gasket on this side because it's pressurized from this side and the seal comes this way and that way and so this side is just dead air. The problem turned out to be over here. I didn't have to tear that down. When I took it apart, this bearing and this spacer fell out. You can see how it's chewed up. There were some metal shavings here. It's supposed to have two bearings and a spacer and a retaining pin. Well, the retaining, well, retaining clip. The retaining clip was missing and the bearing was missing. So this was just rubbing here, getting all gouged out because one of the bearings was missing because the retaining clip wasn't there and it's been that way since new pretty shoddy workmanship here's what it's supposed to look like underneath Let's see if we can get under here right here here's your spacer here's your wheel and there's supposed to be a retaining clip there that's what they copied and this side is missing so 
It's still under warranty. The warranty is you pay the shipping costs. Here they're going to send me the parts and I'm going to fix it and I pay the shipping costs. Now, normally, if you ship the whole unit to them, to Texas, they'll fix it and you pay to ship it back. Well, that's a lot of money. So I'm glad they're going to send me the parts. So we're going to put this thing back together, see if we can fix it. Okay, so we have our lift back together. We're gonna see if it works. Uh, one thing I do wanna say is I need to get a new wheel clamp. I broke the handle. That's not on the manufacturer though, that's on me. Manhandling this heavy thing, I can't really do it alone. I broke the handle. Now you can get these from Harbor Freight for $79, mail order, mail order only. This is a tuxedo one. These are $179 from Tuxedo, $179 from Northern Tool with free shipping. I got it from JMP Cycles for $149 plus shipping, which was still a little cheaper. No, I think that was free shipping. From there they go on up. The downside about these is they don't sell replacement parts. So if you screw it up like I did, you've got to buy a whole unit. And I didn't like the ones from Harbor Freight. They pin together, they're a little bit less stiff, a little bit less rigid. Also, on any of them, I'm not nuts about these rubber pads. They tear out very easily. And then these screws, which are also here, are left to damage your bike. So I take them out, and if I'm worried about my wheel, I'll just lay the rubber pad in there when I use it. So we wanna see if it works. Got our rollers all fixed. We're in the up position. Come on, Inga, move. There we go. So, that's fixed. Up. Down. Then the only other thing they say is, I think I mentioned this, mentioned this earlier. <laughs> Periodically open that center cylinder, clean it, and lubricate it with, well, they say Vaseline petroleum jelly. So, is the Chinese lift worth it? I think if I had to do it over again, no, I'd buy a handy. Remember, that one was in the scrapyard and it's working to this day. I've never had to do anything. I've had a week of downtime. I had to spend some time repairing it myself when I could have been working on bikes, waiting for parts. I'm lucky it was under warranty. They sent me the parts, but I think you're better off with the American product.